So here's a here's a, speaking of funny comments from what I said before, here's one that I'm sure you guys will get a kick out of. I want Kai's response first, then Brandon, you you can answer this after. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> My man said, I wonder if Goku is ever going to transform into Super Saiyan 3 because he still hasn't mastered it and we barely see him transform into Super Saiyan 3. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Just no. Just no? no. Okay. Nah. Brandon? <laughs> like, I, I don't even know why that's a fucking question. Like, <laughs> like, come on, do the math, bro. Like, we ain't never seen Super Saiyan three again. Unless this nigga's teaching fucking lessons. Facts. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be straight up, bro. Like, them dreams is over, man. Yeah. This nigga, this nigga, you gotta think about it this way. This nigga's not going to sleep in Super Saiyan three. To train himself like he did with Super Saiyan. Like, that's what Goku literally did before. With, oh, with Gohan. yeah. They literally, they literally was tw Super Saiyan 24-7 to get used to the, to the, or to increase their stamina with it or whatever and get used to I it. Like, wow. Your memory is so crazy. You'd be remembering shit that I never would think you would remember. Like, you would think, you would think, like, he, like, if he actually truly wanted to master that shit, Super Saiyan 3, that he would do something similar. I mean, you would think he would have an easy. He probably would have an easier time doing it too if he focused on it. But there's no point when when there's better techniques, aka Ultra Instinct, at this point. And now he's about to learn more about himself, so he's not he's not worried about Super Saiyan three. The only way, I'm, telling, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the only way Super Saiyan three is ever going to be seen again is if he's teaching somebody that's just working on like a new Saiyan, like that's just working on leveling up. Up like from Super Saiyan One, Super Saiyan Two, whatever. That's the only way we're seeing that shit. And yo, I want to point something out off of that, right? Wait, 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 real quick. Okay. Nah, you know when the next time we'll see it? Go tanks. Hey. Yeah, but that I'm talking. We're talking about Goku. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> there's no reason we should be talking about Goku in Super Saiyan Three. That's what I'm saying. But Go Tanks is the only person who will actually. We'll, we'll uh we'll see Super Saiyan three in yeah happily happily fuck yeah yeah so I will I will what I'll say off of that right to entertain this conversation because at the end of the day Super Saiyan three is always gonna be one of our favorite forms oh hundred percent hundred percent but it, right. it's just not shown enough but you know or favored I say right like. If anybody is if, if you're gonna expect anybody to ever use that shit on a consistent level is going to be the kids because they used it on screen low key i well actually no never mind cuz they got they, they they it was on and then they had fun a little bit and they got absorbed so never mind <laughs> you know never mind. honestly so they the, used honestly, it more than bro, once yeah honestly the only like and this is just outside the box and i don't know if this will ever even happen but this is like this is like one of those situations where they're fighting somebody where Super Saiyan is the only power that works. I said this. I said the exact so, so same that, thing you so, just said. So, so that's the only way we'll ever get like Goku maybe wanting to to pursue and and master Super Saiyan three since that's his highest level state in Super Saiyan technically. So you know what I mean that's the only way, only way. Yeah. Otherwise, Until we're not really gonna. We're, there's time. no. Uh, otherwise, we're not seeing that shit because there's no point unless we're seeing it from the kids, right? And 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 a part of that is Kefla and Kale, because yep. that's you know they're among that. Yeah, yeah. Type. That's, I mean, Goku showed them that shit, so yeah. Right. So, and 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 here's the, and here, so back to what I was trying to say was that we're now approaching a a time in this story where dragon ball and it's and it's transformations and it's techniques are kind of like establishing re-establishing themselves as something that we've really never seen before because now we're we're diving into 
lore right and that's huge because what's 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 a real takeaway from this is the fact that for the first time ever goku is going to like actually remember something that from where from like almost like a past life that he went through but clearly don't remember because he fell on his head obviously right and now that that memory is coming back to him you know it's implied that okay now he's really gonna start accepting himself as who he is he's for for all these years that he's been on earth he's been lost in the sauce like yeah he's aware that he was a saiyan but he never really accepted it he has always been goku of earth he's never been goku of planet vegeta he's never been kakarot of planet vegeta the only time this man ever acknowledged himself as such is at the end of broly and that was that was fan service i'll just put it out there right there that was 100 percent fan service because my man literally that was that was paying homage to the original shit because not once did broly scream kakarot why why would he need to it's not the same the 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 the, the current freaking optimal best version of broly ain't like the legendary classic john that dude knew who he was that dude was mad because he was next to him in in their freaking baby johns and this dude didn't let broly sleep and that's the only reason why he hated him <laughs> and i yo i'm like the i am the broly dude okay there's no one that has any other bits of evidence that could tell me otherwise what like explain why original classic broly hated goku so much there's no there's nothing else that happened there's literally nothing else that happened so either way that is the, like we are now entering a part where this dude is really about to dig deep within himself and have some sort of self-realization that in order to fully unlock his his own inner potential is to accept who he's been this entire time that he hasn't acknowledged at all and that's what's going to help him kind of you know do whatever comes next and you know what just just jumping off that i just like this this quote just like popped up in my head because we we were talking last episode about how you know the potential of the super saiyan 4 could be brought about through you know through mixed with ultra instinct and like all that shit you know and i just what you said about you know him him accepting like who who he really is as a saiyan you know a savage type of people it just brought me back to that line in uh in gt with super saiyan 4 goku was like I, I i don't remember if it was the first time he used the form but he was definitely wasn't used to it and he says something along the lines of yeah sorry but when i'm in this form i just lose control oh yeah i'm sure that'll come into play because i mean this is this is this is a common thing that happens in this show they get something new everybody gotta get used to that new shit you know yeah but this was like this was him you know i'm talking about like him actually losing control like you know being being a little bit more broly a little bit more savage because he's more intact with his roots right you know he might take it a little too far because you know he's goku he doesn't want to hurt anybody past what they need to but he might oh that's that good shit.